Because somebody... Look at his legs! He's it's got sweets up. stuck to him. Where he's eaten multiple lollipops, he's got sherbet all over the floor. He actually has <laughs> sweet wrappers hanging from him. Are you trying to pretend this wasn't you? You have sweet wrappers hanging from your fur. You know what I'm going to have to do now? I have to make a TikTok now because of this situation. What are you two up to? Oh, well, I came outside for a ball at him and now he's going to have a poo. What is the deal with this grass? I don't know. I've... Why is it getting so long? I cut it. Oh, the, oh, that. I thought you meant the brown. No, I want to know why it looks like it needs cutting again. Because that's what happens when you cut grass and it grows. I don't... <laughs> I, I mean, that seems pointless that's if it's just going to grow back. We don't want long grass, Dave. Can't have I was just going to cut it again next year. It, it looks like I'm going to have to... I, a week ago I cut this grass. This is ridiculous. I'm now having to keep the camera away from the pooing dog. Come on, you've got P.O. box stuff to open this away. You seem to have sat on your throne for opening this stuff. Yeah, it still needs... Addresses. Right, do you think you can avoid showing the addresses of these parcels today? Well, I try to So I don't have to sit the there pen. editing out That's... and blurring things. So these are both turned up P.O. Okay. box for Anna Chapman, which I believe is you, even though you still oh. refuse to marry me. Now you've had passports for Anna Chapman, are you going to marry me? No. I think it's unfair that you let me spend money on an engagement ring if you had no intention of a wedding. What's your excuse for that? Um, weddings are expensive. I'm happy to pay for it. And you have to be faffly. What does that mean? Stolen bits and bobs in between. Well then I feel like you shouldn't have stolen a ring from me. <laughs> what is this? I don't know, I remember on the vlog Kev said these are your favourite sweets. And as Kev only got you a small box of sweets on the Friday's vlog, but I can never say that. Which is yet. which is mostly gone, by the way. I just noticed they didn't last long. Uh, that's some Kiva. So I, got, I got some sweets, Kevin. What are they? Kevin's favourite sweets at the front. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> Rainbow drops and that's just a big box of retro sweets. That's really cool. Thank you. You. I'm sure Kevin will get into that with his... I don't eat sweets. You like jazzies. I only eat health foods. <laughs> I love some celery and uh, beetroot. Beetroot? You don't like beetroot. No. You fell out with beetroot when we juice. Yeah, because it's made of mud. And what have we got here? <laughs> what? What are we laughing at now? No, it's a little note. No. I imagine it's, it's also from Kiva because it's got Anna Chapman on the box again. Kev, here are some vegan sweets for you. Ah, there you go. I've got <laughs> sweets. Excellent. Tabby's all vegan sweet treats. Hold this thing. So let's have a look at these. Okay, you open a box. Oh, okay. They're actually sweet, like real sweets, but vegan ones. I thought it was going to be like weird stuff. Um, I know full well you're having the double dips off me. You're very much a double dip lady. But I've got my own rainbow drops, so I'm happy. Rainbow drops for Kevin. Yeah, but no chocolate. But chocolates for losers. <laughs> so, peer box shenanigans out of the way. Just confirming Andy did go to school fine after all today. I mentioned at the end of yesterday's vlog that we were a little bit... We were a little bit concerned that it might have been a little bit iffy today because he... Uh, he didn't have the best of nights last night, but no, it was absolutely fine. Went in fine as normal. And now I have a mega busy day ahead of me to set up for a mega busy week. It is very much a head down, get on with work day to day because the rest of the week, I'm not gonna have much opportunity to sit in this office and make football manager videos tomorrow. Um, I've got the whole day written off because um, Nerdphonic, Matt, who you might remember from years ago, from car park tech support like five years ago more recently he's the host of the streamer showdown lowdown over on twitch and um, he's going to be spending the day here tomorrow basically rebuilding both of my pcs taking them apart and rebuilding them from scratch i'm taking the motherboard or he <laughs> i he's taking the motherboard out of my newer pc my streaming and editing and rendering pc and putting that motherboard into my gaming pc which is a little bit older um, and then i've got a new mother a new motherboard to go into the 
newer one, which is going to allow me to keep my Elgato Camlink Pro in there, which I put in a couple of weeks ago, and then put my 4K capture card back in as well, because at the moment I can only capture my game footage in 1080p because I don't have room for both cards, so I needed a new motherboard and Matt's rebuilding both of them to make that happen. So while he's in here doing that tomorrow, tomorrow is hopefully going to be the day that me and Anna can get Anna's desk and everything set up in the living room for her. So Tuesday, total right off when it comes to making videos. Wednesday, I've got the second part of my COVID jab. We've got a meeting with the care agency that Andy's, that we've been using for Andy recently. So Wednesday's a bit of a write off too. Thursday, I'm doing a course all day. So that is already a complete write-off. And then Friday is very much catch-up day, but probably only in the morning, so on Friday afternoon, I drive over and pick Amy up, and she's in here for the weekend. So bottom line, if I don't get work done now, like a week's worth of work today, it ain't getting done. I've got videos made at the moment up until Tuesday, so I need to make videos at the very least by bedtime today for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Don't think I'm gonna be streaming today or getting out of this chair very much. Stop, stop well, away. we've just got in from picking Andy up from school. It looks like Anna's not gonna be having the uh, the double Is dip. It yeah. Cause somebody- Look at his legs. He's it's got sweets up. stuck to him where he's eaten multiple lollipops. He's got sherbet all over the floor. He actually has <laughs> sweet wrappers hanging from him are you trying to pretend this wasn't you you have sweet wrappers hanging from your fur you know what i'm gonna have to do now i have to make a tiktok now because of this situation we're just doing a further inspectionist to see exactly what he's done this i mean there are a couple he obviously didn't like the sherbet because he's left two of them but remember how full this I'll box just, was this morning i'll just pick that one up that box was properly full. He couldn't get into this one. I had the drumsticks out of it, it and he's had everything else. Wet though. Yeah, well he's tried to get into it. <laughs> oh David, I called you a bad name. <laughs> luckily, <laughs> luckily and Andy went upstairs as soon as we came in and me and Anna came in here. It's just as well, because Anna walked in the room ahead of me. Um, <laughs> I didn't see anything, and all I heard was Anna walk in this room and drop a sea bomb <laughs> at Dave. A sea basket. <laughs> yeah. It was very unprofessional, obscene language. Look, it's a floor. I know, and he has eaten so many. I mean, it's, it's that. Is it okay for him to have eaten all those sweets and sherbet and stuff? They're, they're garbage disposals, he'll be fine. They're not uh, grapes, but he's not having any dinner today. You're walking it into the carpet. <laughs> Look, he's actually sat there drooling now, after all that. See, so we're still finding bits on him. <laughs> the floor's repaired. The yes. dog is going to take a little bit more work. And what we were coming in here to do before, before all the shenanigans... Um, do you want to go outside? Have you got a sugar high? <laughs> he wants to go and run around and around and around and shout at the neighbours. <laughs> Yeah, he is just going to run around, I think. Back and forth. That's what we're doing, apparently. So, what we were going to talk about, very quickly, is how was Andy's day at school? Because um, you haven't really told me yet, because you get told while I'm in the car with him. Well, he didn't want to do anything this morning because of last night's wobble. Yeah. Um, he said he kept putting his hand in people's faces yeah, and trying to face palm them. Because he didn't want any contact with anybody. Yes, and that's what he does. Um, but after that, they... Told him he has to do some things, showed him now and next. And he had his dinner, he went outside, told everyone it was raining while he was outside, so everyone went in. And then as he got in, the sunshine came out and he told him to go back out. <laughs> but because of bubbles, he couldn't go back out. So they did um, syringe painting, but he thought he was having medicine. Well, that's the only contact he's had, had with syringes before, isn't it? If he sees something so in a syringe, he's going to try and take his it. Mouth. <laughs> yeah, we've, we've spent years training him to take whatever we give him in a syringe because <laughs> he never used to want to, but now pretty much anything, if we put it in a syringe, he'll take it. And paint. Yeah, we've gone too far with it, I think. But after our worries that there might be issues, he's had a reasonably good day, he's come home, he's just on his iPad doing his normal stuff now, so. He'll probably go to sleep. Yeah. Soon. Maybe. Well, we've got a womble outside. Yeah, what's this one doing? Licking. 
Dave, no. I guess he wants to drink. Dave, you've got him. Dave, you've got water in here. Dave. It's because the hoover's out. You have water in here. Come in the house to drink. You don't have to drink tennis water. He may not like the hoover, but the hoover's out because of him. Yeah. Spreading sherbet over the house. Can you hear that slurping from here? Anyway, as you can see, I'm now back in my Sunday best. I'll shut this door. Try not to fall over Anna's chair. And now I need to go and carry on making my football manager videos. We're working on the clock here, and this lighting is terrible. What's for, what, at the start of the vlog yesterday? In front of his eyes. Did you like that? In front of his eyes. Yes, it was front of his eyes. Good filming. Yeah. I snuck that clip at the start of yesterday's video. That was one of the ones that he was filming on his phone. Still got no interest in actually making for Andy's Eyes videos again for YouTube, but maybe that'll spark his interest back up because there are a few people who are asking. Very rarely he comes in my office, but he burst through the door while I was recording to tell me all about it. Did he really? Yeah, he just burst in through Andy's eyes. What? I'm not going to start editing that again, have I? That's definitely on assistance list. No, was if it? That starts, oh. No, if I that's. I meant to send him down. No, right? if, um, if Andy's Eyes comes back. Editing that's definitely on your job list, not mine. What is this? What? Have you got any scissors? No. That needs cutting. It's just what? like this, this here. Oh, there's a loose hair. Hold on, we won't we won't oh. cut it. We'll just rip it out of my head. <laughs> that's why you should cut my hair for me. Hi. Back to work. Sorry. Um, we've said a parcel arrive. Is this the this is the present you've been telling me you've got me for like the last week? So there's three things in there, yeah. two for you, one for me, and I get to choose the one I want. No, you get to choose the one I picked for you. If you pick the wrong one, I'll give you the one that I see. Picking. I've never had a live plant before. Is this why you were poking at my plastic plants the other day? Mm. Interesting. So you've selected a plant you think I'll like. Is it a giraffe plant? No. That one looks dead. Well, why have you bought plants? You know we'll kill these. Uh, there's a cactus! Man. Man. Okay. So, we have a cacti, we have an aloe vera, and we have a snake one. Which one is Kevin? Cactus. Yes, sir. Yes. His name is Spikey. Okie doke. Cactus for Kevin. Careful, oh. they don't fall. Right, hold on, because I need to get the plant pots out. How's the TV? Yeah, move out of the way. I've got a cactus. <laughs> Dave, please don't eat the cactus. That would be even worse than the sherbet. Where are these from? Um, and why didn't you just buy them from a garden centre? Because they were... How much do you think my cactus was? Ten quid? Six quid. Okay. <laughs> I'll allow. I've never seen plants come through the post before. What's the name and of the there's company? Your, there's your pink. Oh, thank you. So, it's, are they called Patch? Is that what they're called? Yeah. Please put the plant in the pot for me. Please and thank you. How often do I have to water it? Um, that's, pretty, that's why I bought certain ones. This is going to fall. There you go. You'll have to unwrap it. Oh, I see. But ah, that's not stable. It's prickly, don't you know? I think you're going to have to do this or I'm going to fall out of right. it. If it stabs me, I will get upset with it and not keep it. <laughs> well, there we go. Plants. Ex oh, plant pots. So these two are for in here, are they? Uh, kitchen That was going to say, because that one's sharp and stupid, I'll eat it. Kitchen and bedroom. Bedroom? Because, because they make the air better. Do they? But out the air in our bedroom's lovely. It smells of boy. Smells of sweaty boy in our bedroom. It's in it. It's basically messed up. So we've come outside because it's going to get muddy. Because it looks like it's fallen out of its pot in there. This is what happens when you buy cactuses in the post. How are you not prickling yourself on that? Would you like it in this one and yes, then in that one? Yes, because then I'm less likely to cause a disaster with it. Ah, that looks sharp. <laughs> you need a tool. Other than me. Oh my word, you're killing my cactus. We should have done yours first. What is that piece of equipment you've just retrieved from the floor? There we go. Now you've got to get that into there. Does it need some water now? Water it. Oh. There we go. Cactus. There's mud on it. You didn't could have cleaned my cactus for me. It's <laughs> Just go in my office then, is that? Yeah. Okay. Excellent. 
Andy, look, I've got a cactus. Don't touch it, it's prickly. How are you sitting there when all that stuff was on that chair? It's on the floor now. Oh, Andrew. We're learning a little bit of a lesson here about why you don't buy plants in the post. Because this one has suffered three broken legs. Will he survive? I think he's going in the kitchen. So that's aloe. What's this one? Snake plant. Snake plant? Yeah. And he's saying he's not. And he goes into the bedroom. Yeah. For quality of hair. Excellent. My hair's already good. It's aloe. Mm. So Anna just stood on this one by mistake and now it looks like it's sneezed <laughs> out of its broken limb. That is disgusting. It's aloe. It's that's, that's in your like, your like, what are your products? Is that going to poison Dave if he eats that? I don't think so. It's aloe. We're doing, our, we're doing our best to kill this dog today. What are you doing? This is sticky and horrible and disgusting. This is sticky and horrible and disgusting. This is sticky and horrible and disgusting. Oh, boys and girls, this is definitely a look at one of the less, less glamorous aspects of being a full-time YouTuber. It is nearly 9 p.m. I have been going at this since 10 a.m. this morning with the odd break to eat and pick Andy up from school and sort out a stupid dog. I've recorded five videos. I've just sat here for a like an hour, hour and a half, editing them. They're rendering now. I need to get them fully rendered and uploaded tonight so that I can sort the thumbnails, get them scheduled. I think I'll edit this video and then tidy this office up a little bit, ready for Matt tomorrow to basically be able to work in here without me getting under his feet. There's not really much room in here to social distance. So it's pretty much a case of, he knows what needs doing. I'll show him where the bits are and I'll kind of leave him to it, hover in the doorway occasionally, but by and large, leave him to his own devices so we're not both crammed into this small office. So he needs room to work and he needs for it to not be disgusting, which it's pretty disgusting. It smells of me in here, but at least I've got my new cactus. So that makes it look like I'm a normal adult. So I think we're gonna wrap this video up here because the rest of the day is just me sat at this desk tapping away at my keyboard and playing around in Adobe Creative Suite, which doesn't make for good viewing, I don't think. So I shall see you tomorrow, at which point, by this time tomorrow, we should have Anna's setup sorted so she can start taking on some of the editing load and we'll be one step closer to her creating content of her own, which will be awesome. See you tomorrow, folks.